Hey, what's going on, everybody? Thank you for checking me out. I know you'll be asking me, okay, why are you making this video in a bathhouse? I'm not in a bathhouse. I'm just touring the hotel that I am, uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, this hotel is called um, Radisson Blue Hotel. Yes, in Santon. So I came here with a friend of mine. Uh, basically, this video is going to talk about my experiences traveling within Africa, my experiences traveling as a Ghanaian for the first time to South Africa. What really went on with my experiences? So first of all, if you remember, in November 2023, there was, okay, in November 2023, there was um, a press release from the government of Ghana and then another press release from the government of South Africa. So the press release stated that from November 1st or 5th, anyone, any Ghanaian who wants to travel to South Africa do not need a visa. Do you remember? Yes, and any South African who is coming to Ghana doesn't need a visa. Yes. Yes, I mean, it's, it's a good news. Every day, myself and other people like Wadamaya, you know, we're trying to preach about borderless Africa because why should I just travel to maybe Sierra Leone or uh, Angola and then I'll be needed to apply for a visa to travel within the continent? Because I know Namibia even needs, if, if you're Ghanaian and you're going to Namibia, you need a visa. All right, so it was like that with uh, Ghana and South Africa. I remember there was the first announcement that was made and it was only for uh, those with diplomatic passport or something. But now every passport holder in Ghana, you can visit South Africa. So I was like, hey, um, South Africa has been one of the countries that I really want to visit due to the fact that um, growing up, learning about history in Africa, you know, um, um, freedom fighters and everything, I got to learn about Nelson Mandela. So Nelson Mandela is one of the Pan-Africanists, uh, just like Kwame Nkrumah from Ghana, okay? So I was following these people, you know, listening to the speeches that they make, watching their videos, reading their books. I remember there's this quote that education is the key to, is this success to something from Nelson Mandela? I usually make videos about traveling within Africa. So when I heard the news, I was like, hey, let me quickly do a video on it and then tell everybody in Ghana that you can visit South Africa without a visa. And I was like, no, why don't I put this news, this update into practice? So I was like, okay, then I'm not going to do it, but I'm rather going to go through the process and then teach you, show you exactly what I went through in order for me as a Ghanaian, you know, a, a common Ghanaian passport holder to travel to South Africa. So I contacted a friend of mine. Uh, you know, uh, one thing that I've learned about traveling is that you need to get a travel partner, somebody who also shares the dream of traveling around Africa or around the world. So I called my friend Greg. Video. I get a lot of questions, you know, Echo, how do you travel like that? You know, today you are here, the next day you are there. You have a lot of money. And I'm like, no, it's not all about you have a lot of money. Uh, there's one thing you need to start when you want to be a traveler. That is, you should look for a travel partner. Why do I say a travel partner? Um, it cut down cost when you want to travel. Do you understand what I'm saying? Oh, of course. It's right. yeah. um, and then I say, hey, we've already planned of going to South Africa. Even though the first time, we, we wanted to go early this year, and then we put in the application, but I was, I was, I was denied visa. To go to south africa and he got a visa but he said hey we normally travel together so if i didn't get the visa that he's not going so when we got this news it was like hooray now it's time for us to go so i called him up we plan and then we chose a date so we picked the date and then we say hey let's spend the december the last days in december and the first uh, days in 2024 in south africa so we agreed and then we booked our flight so the first thing we did was to look for a cheap flight. But we didn't get a cheap flight. <laughs> I mean, it was like $600 to, to, you know, a round trip from Ghana 
to South Africa and then back, a round trip. So we agreed on the date and then we did our check-in online and then we booked with Ethiopian airline. You know, that's one of the coolest airlines you could have here in Africa. So we booked Ethiopian airline, which was like pretty cool. And then we started looking for accommodation. So we went on um, various platforms that offer um, accommodation, Airbnb, um, and all that. And then we had to land on this beautiful place. Look, this is really nice. I mean, I love it already. Uh, it's a twin bed. I decided to take twin bed. He's busy in his room doing his thing. So, um, yeah. And, and the view outside is so cool. Let me show you. The view outside. Can you see? Because it's kind of like late, uh, you wouldn't get it right. But so we did our booking. We booked our hotel room. We got confirmation. And then we were about to travel. So a day before I went to him in Accra, uh, we went a little shopping because we didn't want to depend on South African food because we've not tried it. So we had to go to the market, the supermarket to get some few stuff. And then the next day, it was a flight day. So the Uber driver just came in, getting ready for our trip to South Africa to go and see Johannesburg, Cape Town, Soweto, Durban, and whatnot. So today is 26th of December, 2023. And me... From there, you know, man, so uh, we were late a bit like we were we fly around uh, we're supposed to fly around at eight o'clock and then we got around 6 30 getting to seven because there was traffic on the road and the uber that we picked was like slowing down and all that. So when we got there, we joined the queue. We checked in. And then one interesting thing is that we were made to pay $100. Yes. Um, Ethiopian Airlines said, I don't know why they took it, but from listening to people, they were like, you, people go and they don't come back. Really? People travel to South Africa and they don't come back. So that deposit of hundred dollars is to make sure that you're going to come back so when you go and then you get back to the airport they'll give you your money back so hey if you're guardian and you're traveling with ethiopian airline i don't know of the other airlines i don't know but if you're traveling with ethiopian airline ethiopian airline will make sure that you deposit an amount of hundred dollars yeah with your email and phone number and one of your uh ticket yeah they will keep it right everything now and and then they will tell you, when you come back, you come for your money. So we pay that money. We rush through the checkpoint. We took our shoe. Like the normal thing that every traveler does, we took our shoe. They checked that in. And then straight to the airplane. It was beautiful, you know, already. Uh, I've made a couple of videos about Ethiopian Airlines. Perfect. The, 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 the waitresses were perfect. I mean, the food was super. Yeah. <laughs> It's not something you eat always. So when you get there, you have to eat with the bread and everything. So it was a five hours trip from Ghana to Ethiopia. So when you pick Ethiopian airline, it will take you to Ethiopia fast. So we got there about five hours later and then we laid over for four hours. So we're just sitting there roaming around, working around. And All right, so this is where we're gonna pick our next flight to uh south africa yes right eight o'clock in the morning our flight was ready to go to south africa so it was smooth very smooth so we went in the flight was perfect ethiopian airline come on you guys the the, the taking off and the landing was so smooth you wouldn't even see yourself going up or coming down but it was so sweet um every few minutes or hours the pilot will give us an announcement. Hey, we're heading towards the turbulence. We're entering the clouds. It's going to rain, blah, 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 blah. It was giving us all that. So it was super sweet. And then we got to, we landed in South Africa after four hours, few minutes. So we got there. We came out from the, from the airplane. And then we went through some few checks. And then when we got to the immigration, 
um, when we got to the immigration, we gave our, our passport. They looked at it and they said, what are you doing here? What are you coming to do here? I was like, we're coming to tour. South Africa is a beautiful place. We want to come and see. What shows that you go back? People like you, when you come, you don't want to go back. That was from the immigration person, the border authority manager, uh, authority management. I was like, when you guys come, you don't want to go back. So uh, they started interrogating us just in front of the kiosk. And then this dude from nowhere came out and said, you, you, who were to me and my friend, you, you, bring your passport, follow me. Dude took us to a room with other nationals there, mostly Chinese and Indians and Africans. I didn't see anybody from, from Europe. If I say Europe, like uh, Germany or UK or US, I didn't see any of them in there. It was just us. So they took the passport and then placed it in, a set in another room without telling us anything that, oh, uh, due to one, two, three, we want to one, two, three. So we sat there. Meanwhile, the brother that was coming to pick us up from the airport knew I was at the, um, we were at the immigration trying to get in. So he would kept calling, kept calling. And the room that they took us, there was no internet. So you can't even talk to anybody and say, yo, I'm coming, I'm here, I'm there. So they made us sit down. They took our passport. They started calling the people that we went to meet. Hey, you come. You could hear someone shouting, blah, 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 blah. I mean, at the end of the day, after an hour, our passport was given to us. I'm not going to say that we were treated badly or harshly, but some people within that organization must be taught how to relate to humans, all right? We all Africans. I, I, I can't leave my work, my family, my kids, all that I'm doing back home in Ghana and say that I'm coming to hustle in South Africa. I ain't doing that shit. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to stop what I'm doing to come and stay in South Africa and, and, and do it. I mean, I love the country. When I came, oh, God, South Africa is ish. If I was given another chance in life, I would come and stay in South Africa. But I, I only have one chance, which is to be in Ghana. So um, later on, they called us in the next room, and they asked us, Where are we, what are we coming here to do? We said, to tour. OK, um, do you have money to sustain us? He said, yes. He said, how much? I took my money. I counted. My, my guy also did it. Um, where are we going to stay? We said, this hotel. They were like, OK. They took a phone, called the hotel. Are you expecting these people? They were like, yeah. They've paid for their hotel accommodation. And then they asked us a few questions and gave us our passport without explaining why they did that to us or they did that to whoever. I mean, some, some of them even didn't know that Ghana do not need, Ghanaians do not need visa to come to South Africa. Some of them didn't even know the, 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 the immigration people. They didn't know. I mean, we all, we all don't know. We all must be educated. But uh, such a major landmark, such a major announcement, I think that the government should do well to educate, I mean, its people that, hey, Ghanaians don't need passport to come to our beautiful country. So at the end of the day, we got our passport back. We went in. They gave it to the, another lady who stamped and wrote some few things. And then, honestly, peacefully, threw our passport on the table, and then we had to pick it. South Africa is beautiful. We're not trying to, um, you know, say anything bad about anybody, but I think people should learn how to relate to other human beings. Because at the end of the day, when you're six feet gone, you're gone. So South Africa, shout out to the immigration lady. The other one that was inside, she was so beautiful. She was okay with us, explaining. She was, you know, she took her time to ask us some of these questions that she needed to know. So I would say it was protocol. You can do your protocol thing, we don't have no problem, but just learn how to speak to people, yes. I know some tourists are annoying, but um, for our own good, we have to learn how to speak with these people. So after that, we went out, and then my guy was there, he called me like a thousand times, like, what was going on, we didn't hear if I was like, they took our passport, sent us to a room, interrogated us, and then that was it. Maybe it is protocol, much respect to South African 
immigration protocol, just do your thing. That is okay with us. But let's learn to relate good with other people, all right? So then we drove all the way, sat in a beautiful Audi. Shout outs to Bishop, and then shout outs to my brother to um, KD. So these brothers picked us up from the airport straight to the house where we enjoyed local cuisine. We ate fufu and was it palm no soup? No, it was um, light soup with goat meat. Oh, damn. It was so beautiful. So it was so nice and uh, we had some shots. You know, I mean, this is a vlog, so let's say what we have to say. We, we took some shots first. And then we ate the fufu. And then after, we went to town. I mean, that first day that we landed, we hadn't even checked in in our hotel yet. We were just out there partying, chilling with our bags and everything. I was like, damn. But anyway, it was interesting. So if you're Ghanaian thinking of going to South Africa to, you know, tour, do whatever you want to do, make sure that you put at the back of your mind that you need to pay $100 at the... That is if you're using um, Ethiopian Airlines. I don't know of the others. Maybe they're also doing the same. And then know that you have to book your ticket and then book your hotel. Because they will call when you get to the airport. And they realize that, no, this person, they will call you aside and call the hotel to verify if really you're coming to stay. Or you're coming to, you know, to really find out that they are really accommodating you. You've paid for your reservation and everything. So it was okay. Beautiful trip. I enjoyed myself. Thank you for checking me out. Shout out to all South Africans. This is my second day in South Africa. We went through uh, Nelson Mandela's Square. Tomorrow we have a lot of things to do. But it was so beautiful. I love South Africa. And I love the, the, the anthem. Nkosi, 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 Nkos